Gen Z! <laughs> My man, yo, headline hitters, episode 3. Mtiangu na kama kawa, if you see Mkurugenzi in the building, you just know. He's got the juice, man. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Na wambie, hizi vipindi kama kuna kitu zinafanya. Ni hikitu. Zinakimbia. Wadao, leo nataka ni wapeleke moja kwa moja. Mbaka chile. Kwa desert moja imekauka kuruka one of the driest places on earth inaitwa Atacama Desert. Like hii place ni dry kuruka mpaka haki insects huko zinaambiaga Mungu ai Atacama eh hey, hapana umeweza wewe hii punguza hii heat kidogo is too much is too much wena but for Chileans a a a a hapo maze ilikuwa ni riziki ya watu wengi sana inatoka pale sababu kuna one of the biggest mines in Chile ilikuwa huko siko sure sana but nafikiri inaitwa San Jose but not siko sure mnaweza niambia hapo kwenye comments wadau tarehe 5 agosti mwaka ni 2015 is it 2010 it's 2010 na sijui kwa nini aki mwezi wa 8 shwali hii august inafaa iombewe maana kumbuka tele story niliyopigia ya gladbeck ile hostage whatever ilikuwa ina happen pale si ilikuwa pia mwezi wa 8 hii pia ni mwezi wa 8 tarehe 5 workers wako pale ndani kwa mines kule chini wanafanya mambo yao ya kutengeneza nini ya ku ya ku ku mine ni nini ku mine ni nini kwa Kiswahili ni kuchimba migodi. Wanachimba migodi pale kwenye mines. Kidogo kidogo. Gugu 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 masauti. Gugu 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 kuna tetemeka tetemeka. Before you can say kariki. Mine me collapse. 33 miners stuck kule chini. Oh 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 swara ilioje. Watu pale nyumbani wanashanga ngoja kwanza. Mumesikia masauti fulani? Eh. Hey. Hey, na kuna watu walikuwa wanafaa kuwa wametoka job pale hawajatoka. Kunaweza kuwa kuna ngori. So wakajikusanya watu kadhaa wakaelekea pale kwenye hiyo mine wakapata hai 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 hai. Mine ni kama ile collapse. Wakatafuta route nyingine ya kujaribu kutokea huko ndani the following day. Sasa mine ile collapse tarehe 5. Tare sita wakajaribu kutafuta maruts fulani hapo nini nini kidogo kidogo wanaingia wanaingia huko hey, ka, siku ikaisha wakasema tutarudi the following day tare saba kujaribu kungangana kuangalia kama wanaweza pata signs of life o kitu kama hiyo tare saba wakarudi tena kujaribu kuingia kwa mashimo huko through other routes nini nini then wakiwa huko ndani wanasikia nini milio fani fani kidogo kuna tetemeka wakaachana mbuga wa toka before long wa another collapse sasa ile opportunity ilikuwa ya kujaribu kuokoa watu gone sababu zile roots walikuwa wanapitia ni machannel fulani hapo ziliwaga zimechimbwa straight on. unajua kawaida mines huaga ni a series of tunnels ambazo huaga zina spiral down 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 manaenda mpaka mbali sana but apart from this series of tunnels kuna shafts zinachimbagwa straight down sasa hizo ndio walikuwa wanajaribu kuona kama wanaweza access waingie huko waoneone vitu vile walisikia gugu 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 wakachomoka wakaenda ika collapse mara ya pili hata hizo shafts walikuwa wanatumia pale zikakuwa block sasa aki hakuna design nyingine ya kujaribu kufikia wale watu unless wachimbe tena shimo zingine fresh waone kama watachimba chimba chimba waende wafike huko chini mahali wale maminas walikuwa waone kama wanaweza establish any signs of life pale chini haya ikasemekana kuja tujaribu wakaleta rigs tatu pale zichimbe tu shimo tudogo tu sana hizi ni za ku establish tu kama kuna watu wako hai huko si si shimo wide tudogo tu so the slimmer ama the narrower the hole the less time it takes so wakaleta minds wakasema tutachimba shimo kama nne hivi tubahatishe tu ile itaanguka place tunadai sawa well and good so rigs zikaanza kufanya kazi pale zikaanza kufanya kazi mazee ya kwanza ikafika hivi mazee ikakuwa iko off na over 100 feet off kabisa sababu maze kumbukeni wanachimba fa sana yani ni wacha nikupatie example hii particular mine ile target walikuwa wanatafuta 
ilikuwa 850 meters chini hiyo ndio target walikuwa natafuta lakini wakati unachimba hii kitu rig inaweza enda direction yoyote so lazima ujaribu kuchimba na trajection trajectory fulani iende ikave vizuri ikuje i hit target watu wangu wa mpira ndio niilete hii kitu vizuri nyumbani muielewe hiyo ni kama kupiga free kick jivanji na unafaa uingize hii ball kwa right hand corner ya goal post ambayo iko archives Sijui kama tumeelewana mpaka hapo. Unafaa ukaa vi mpira kutoka Jivanji iende iingie kwa top right hand corner pap pale archives 850 meters away. So you can imagine the level of complexity ilikuwa maze kuchimba hiyo kitu. So ya kwanza ikapiga off na more than 100 feet. Hizi zingine mbili I don't know vile kulienda but one of them ikangangana 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 mpaka ikafika wapi? Ba pale ndio muelewe how difficult it was to undertake this mission kuchimba hiyo shimo kutoka top mpaka mahali ilifika mahali wanataka kwa one of the tunnels pale chini ilichukua wase 17 days so for 17 days wako tu pale optimistic wanachimba wakijaribu tu kutafuta any signs of life maze wanagonga hii side na hata na 100 feet wanagonga zingine hazifiki but luckily hii moja ikakam ikakuja ikagonga the right spot after 17 days mgodi likolaps tare 5 agosti walikuja kupata kufika, kufika kwa hiyo area tare 22 agosti So mazee wakaenda wakafikisha hiyo nini ndani hiyo rig chini then wakatulia wasikie tu kama watasikia unajua sasa sababu hii rig imefika huko chini unaweza tajaribu kusikiza uone kama mnaweza sikia kitu lakini ni kazi ya kubahatisha lakini tufanye tu sababu tutafanya nini so wakiwa pale chini engineers wakasema he ngojeni kwanza sijui kama nyinyi mnasikia lakini ebu zimeni rig zote any um, uh, equipment machinery ambayo inafanya kazi is many sababu nasikia ni kama kuna activity inatoka huko chini so wakazima mashini zote na wakaanza kusikia mind you this is 17 days after the mine collapsed so wakasikiza tena wakasikiza tena kuna maengineer kadhaa wakasema i swear wadau na sio miadarati tunavuta but tunasikia ni kama kuna knocking ni kama kuna watu wanagonga hii rig yetu huko chini 850 meters away tunasikia ka sauti ha ikasemekana sawa toa hiyo rig tuone kama ukweli e, inaweza kuwa kuna some uh, science some activity huko so wakaanza kuinua rig tena Ina, inatoka sasa huko chini ikikuja juu ikikuja juu ikikuja juu wasewa kwa hapo kando maze with bated breaths the whole community iko pale maze wase 33 wako pale chini so jamaa na marafiki wamekuja hapo kuangalia bana wako kwenye maombi ni ni wanataka tu kuona at least a sign of life ile rig ikapandishwa juu ikapandishwa juu ikapandishwa juu and the last of it ikapanda above ground Mungu ni mwema wa kurugenzi. Pale mbele kwa hiyo drill bit. Wakapata note imefungwa vizuri pale. Wakafungua note, wakaisoma, wakapata imeandikwa na felt pen ya red na inasema vizuri sana wadau tuko salama salmini all 33 of us after 17 days maze. Yaani hiyo kitu ilikuwa karibu ipige record sababu wale watu wameshaka chini kwa ground for the longest time walikuwa wameka 25 days. Hawa in 17 days wakapatikana wakatolewa na mambo ikakuwa ni shwari bin vu. <laughs> ha. Kama unafikiria hii story imeishia hapo. Kaza mkanda. <laughs> <laughs> Hiyo ilikuwa introduction sasa ndio story inaanza. Now, ripoti imefikia watu hapa kando ya kwamba wale watu wako pale wamepatikana wote wako sawa. All 33 of them. But kumbukeni they have been down there for 17 days. Ukikaa bila maji, ukikaa bila chakula for 
those number of days ni noma wewe ni mtu the, the fact that you are alive after 17 days hiyo kwanza ni miracle tuanzie hapo so kitu ya kwanza majamaa walifanya engineers na rescue walianza kurusha cable suko ndani cable ya nini ya ku establish communication sasa wale wakoe wanaweza kufanya nini wanaweza ku relay info wakasukuma pia ka kamera pale ikaenda mpaka huko chini na waka establish ka pipe pia kanaweza rusha vitu ndani za au kujisaidia chakula chakula maji maji nini nini hapo kwa chakula nitarudi tu saa hii wacha tuingie hapa kwa communication walisukuma phone line huko chini design wale wakiwa pale down wanaweza communicate waseme vile wana wanaweza ongea i mean waseme vile wako nini nini na ile feed ya camera so feed vile ilifika chini ndio tukapata our very first images za wale 33 people ilikuwa vizuri sana kwanza tuangalie tu physically wanakaaje ndio tujue eh hey, awase kuna uwezekano ya kuwatoa ama ni nonsense tu tunafanya hapa so vile kamera ilifika pale chini kaona bana akina Jose pale chini wako sawa wako ngangari wamekonda konda kidogo lakini ah mambo iko sawa wako optimistic sana wamefurahi vile hiyo kitu finally imewafikia wanajua any moment now tunatoka so wakahojiwa hojiwa hapa wakasema kusema ukweli tulikuwa tuna supply ya chakula ya siku tatu vile hizi supply imetoshea eh, 17 days ni Mungu tulikuwa tuna umani kapiska samaki kila m- ilikuwa wanacheza kama Jesus unajua vile Jesus alicheza na samaki mbili watu 1500 wakashiba hivyo ndio walikuwa wanakacheza e, ni pisi hivi mazee wanaitumbukiza kwa maji inatengeneza supu ingine ni noma na surprisingly wanasema hiyo kitu ilikuwa tamu kuruka hata kama ilikuwa tu ni kakipande ka samaki hivi na mtungi ya maji ilikuwa tu sawa so for 17 days walikuwa wana wanaenda wakiresho nivo wakiresho sababu hawaku wa sure watafikiwa lini so mazee day 17 wamefikiwa ikakuwa mufti sasa wadau tutoeni kwa ngori first order of business ilikuwa ni chile kupigia united states wako na agency pale inaitwa nasa national airspace agency yeah? i think Wakakol NASA wakawaambia bana tuko na ngori hapa tuko na dilemma. NASA wakawaambia tumekuwa tukiona news bana watu wenu wamekwama pale ndani for very long. Mmewapata tumewapata. Ehe rada. Sasa nyinyi mkienda huko ma space mko isolated for so long niko sure kuna kuga na some psychological effects. Mna dealing aje na vitu kama hizo. Na watu wakikuwa isolated for so long na hakuna chakula na vitu kama hizo kuwa introduce kwa chakula waga mnafanya namna gani? Ah NASA wakawaambia in fact hiyo ni area yetu worry no more wakaleta one of their nutritionists na nini nini wakakam pale chile wasaidie so makosa namba one unaweza patia fanya mtu mwenye ana ni kumpatia chakula so nasa wakasema korogeni hawa se ma e, zinaitwa nini ma vitamini kwenye maji hiyo maji ina kwa minerals kiasi nini nini so kwanza wanawini wana maji kwanza wewe piga piga maji kwanza mwili anze kuokota ma, ma vitamin hapo ma nutrients nutrients before to introduce chakula sababu maze mtu akiwa na starve alafu umgonge tu carbohydrates wa huo mtu mnakibiza mwili mwili inaingia ga, in a state of shock sababu maze haijui vile ku handle hiyo carbohydrate is normal this is for us lawyers kijipata umekaa bila chakula usikumute ugali kwanza enda tu pole pole cheza safe cheza safe unaweza gonga hii kitu bana hata utamaliza tutakuwa tumekimbiza mwili kuisero haya Very nice. Watu wa NASA wamekuja wamepatiana. Nini <laughs> watu wa Raila Odinga come down. I'm not talking about you guys. Naongea sababu ya wale watu wa National Air Space. <laughs> wamekuja wamepatiana nini mambo iko mufti wale wasio natumiwa nini Cha, eh, maji maji huko. Eventually mwili zao zikirudi sawa watajua vile chakula introduceiwa. But now order of business ni kujua vile hao watu tunawatoa huko chini. Root zote tunaweza pitia zimesha blokiwa sababu ya ile collapse. So we have to dig holes big enough to fit human beings then tuna winch a eh, capsule uko ndani. Hiyo capsule inaweza toshea mtu. Hiyo capsule inapelekwa chini. Huo mtu anaingia ndani ya capsule anajipiga mshipi zake sasa sawa capsule inafungwa and they winch it back up. Mbaka atoke and they have to do that for all 33 of them. So how do we go about this? Number one, ni kuleta rig. Kuna rig fulani hapo inachimbaga tushimo. So hiyo rig inaendaga inachimba shimo em, em, na hiyo thickness, hiyo thickness yenye inahitajika. 
But you know, the wider the hole, the longer it takes for you to get there. Our say wali chimba kashimo kakonde ndio kwa walifika na 17 days. For you to chimba ashimo that's 28 inches wide, it would ideally take you two months kufikia our say chini. So serikali kajita meeting ikajiambia sasa ama jamaa tutawa prepare tuwambie itachukua miezi mbili before tuwafikie. Wakasema itabidi. Sababu hakuna haja upatie mtu false hopes na enyewe hakuna ujanja. So serikali mazee ikapiga line of communication huko ndani e, wakawaambia wadau msiwe na tashwishi msiwe na bugudha msiwe na wao wao tutahakikisha mazee tuna wa make us comfortable as possible hii kitu before tuwafikie tuwatoe it will take a minimum of two months so hapa sana sana tutajaribu tuwatoe tuko mwezi wa ngapi tuko mwezi wa tisa ndio inaenda kuingia ha, tutajaribu christmas wapate nyumbani Mufumilie mukae tu na moyo huo huo. So wale wase walikuwa disappointed pale chini but aki kuna option gani nyingine? Hakuna option nyingine. So kaende sana. So ile rig ya kufanya hiyo kazi ya kuchimba shimo ya 28 inches wide ikaletwa. Hiyo rig wakaita plan A. Wakati haya yote yanajiri, the world is watching. Who is watching in the United States? an oil drilling company wako pale mazee wanasikia guy kuna wase wamekuwa mako ta- kwa mines chile wanasemekana wataka hapo two months before atolewe eh hey, and us guys have the technology hapana wacha tupige simu pale tuambie hao wase mazee tuko na namna so aso aka call chilean government wakawaambia mazee nimesikia rig yenu itachukua two months kufikia hao wase mnaonaje sisi tukuje na equipment yetu aki we will do that in half the time Eh, yeah, because half the time ni kama it's like a month tops tutakuwa tumeshafikia wase. Ah chile wako na sawa. Let's let's do this. Wale majamaa wakaeka rigi yao kwa ndege haraka haraka wakakata matikiti hapo very fast by September tare tatu ama ni tare nne. Rigi ya Muamerika ilikuwa ishaingia. Mazee ile jubilation ilikuwa pale mazee wakati hiyo rigi na drive in. Ah mazee wase walikuwa shajua ni hivyo tumepona this is it watu wetu wanatolewa mazee wameka hapo ndani mwezi mzima it's taken a toll on them ishaanza kuna some psychological effects mazee ah finally mazee Mungu amesikia kilio chetu Americans are santeni sana mume come through so rig ka come mazee wakatoa ile kitu mazee ni deadly kwa sawa wakasema now hii kitu iko na nini fulani tutapiga na half the time ndio lakini we'll have to drill it twice sababu gani sababu hii drill hii rig yetu haiwezi piga hiyo 28 inches at once so lazima tupige half kwanza iende hiyo shimo yote mpaka chini ikisha tokea huko chini turudi to attach drill nyingine yenye inaweza widen hii shimo we do it again na cheki sasa hiyo tutakuwa tume drill enough uh, space for ile capsule kuingia e, msee ingie ndani ivutwe juu tuanze ku rescue wase wase wakasema sawa if you are doing it in half the time wewe tupige kitu wacha kitu ianze kazi mu america akapawa rig yake ba 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 na kaanza kazi wale wase pale chini washambio mazee it will take like a month kunini so hawana haraka wako sawa in fact hiyo time chile walikuwa wanacheza ball na ukraine ah wakasema bana tutafutia ni project hapa chini tungojee bana mwezi mmoja ishe tukiangalia mipira na nini na nini tusikie fiti project ikasukumu huko chini wasewa wakaona mechi ya ukraine na chile wakasikia fiti although bana ukraine hawajui kusoma roma ki ukraine unajua wakati mwenzako wako kwa ngori si hata mkiingia kwa uwanja bana una unambembeleza kidogo ndio at least awache kufikiria zile shida zinamkumba nyumbani sasa unasikia minus wa chile wamekwama huko ndani one month nimi nakutana nao kwa kiwanja mnawapiga mbona hamuna utu <laughs> but aidhuru ilikuwa sawa it was a good source of entertainment for the chilean minus waka watch ball wakasikia fiti sasa wacheni niwaambie wadau Hizi shimo zinachimbwa places different. Ile rig yetu ya kwanza plan A inachimba place fulani, plan B ambayo ni Muamerika inachimba place fulani. Ule atafika wa kwanza well and good. Plan A. Nimewaambia hii rig maze hii mining mine yote iko place inaitwa Atacama Desert. Ni desert. Hakuna maji. Hii rig 
inatumia 20 liters of water per second. Like every second ba 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 hizo ni mitungi tatu. Eh, na tusisumbuane otherwise hiyo machine itafanya kazi. So ile hustle bigi sana ya kusukuma hiyo rig ya plan A ilikuwa ni kuhakikisha maji mazee imeletwa kwa wingi. So ma truck za maji zilikuwa zinakaa kibao zinakaa zinajaza jaza zinajaza jaza but hiki to the more inaendelea kupiga maze the more hiyo uzito inakuwa too much unajua kuna msa shake mbiza drill mbio hivyo jua wase awakimbizi drill tu ndio waende wapate minerals wanakimbiza drill waende wa save lives so inakimbizi wana speed ngodi ngodi yani ni noma so before long hydraulic kachapa ngori zimeanza sasa drill yetu ya plan A hydraulics not working na unajua hydraulics ndio inasukuma drill chini eh so kama umepoteza hydraulics pole hiyo mashini ni ya kuzimwa sasa wajaribu ku fix eh, maze but sasa wana, w- kila mtu ameka imani kwa plan B mashini ya muamerika sababu hiyo bado iko kazi tu iko grind iko grind deadly but sasa wale wase wetu pale chini walishaona mechi imeisha wamekaa hapo wiki maze eh hey, hey, eh ikaanza sasa kukua wa Mazina hii mwezi jiwaishi. Eh hey, unaweza ongea na cabinet secretary bana organize kama hata tunaweza pata masigara na mate hii huko chini angalau bana tusukume siku juu. Hey, eh things are thick. So report ikafikishwa juu eh hey, bana eh hey, mkaweza patia watu maskala na mapombe ah watasikia sawa sawa serikali kasema hapana. As it is hizo condition wanaoparetia ni tricky sana. Humidity iko 95%, uh, kunjoto ni ridiculous. Alafu unataka tuingize maskala huko ndani? Ah, tricky sana. Hiyo noma. Kile tutafanya tutashukisha nicotine patches. Ule mtu anasikia amewezwa na kiu, anatandikwa patch na anaendelea na maisha. Ai. Wakasema sawa, leta patch tutungangane nayo. Wakaendelea kukaa. Wadau. Before hydraulics za plan A zitengenezwe. Plan B ya Muamerika. grinds to a halt. Saia kuna mashini inafanya kazi. Kidogo pale chini wanashanga mbona kumenyamaza? Mbo, hii place imekuwa ikiwa pale 24 hours. Why is it that all of a sudden kumetulia? Ripoti mazee ikafika. Oyo oh, yo yo. Plan B na vile ilikuwa inakuja teke bin teke. Ile drill bit, ile pale mbele ile sasa inaendaga ikichimba. Imevunjika. Na vile imevunjika imekwama hapo. So haiwezi toka. Basically imefunika hiyo shimo sasa. Hakuna kitu mnaweza fanya hapo. Eh hey, sasa mazee wakajuliza mazee na vile tumejaribu tumengangana jo hizi ni swara gani mazee. So wakajiita meeting hapo the Americans ni nini waangalie vile wanaweza rescue kitu drill A plan A imenyamaza so nothing is working wase huko chini washaanza kukuwa frustrated mazee wamesha gonga huko karibu siku 45. So ikasemekana wa kuna ka te- technique kamoja akajawai jaribiwa sana but tutakajaribu so vile hii drill bit ilitoka assuming in your drill bit i mean in your drill drill yenyewe hiyo bit ni hapa mbele hapa hapa ndio place ina ina gonga ground so hii part imetoka hii imebaki ime stick so they need to find a way ya kutoa hii kwa ground wa replace hii drill bit vizuri na hii drill eh, nini na head nyingine ndio waendelee So mtu aka come up na idea akasema okay so hii kitoka eh hapa mbele ya hii twende tuweke kitu inakaa kama kama claw hivi so hii claw ikikam ipatane na hiyo drill bit yenye imekwama then uigonge na nguvu hwap hizi side sababu zitapata ground hapa chini hiyo ground ita bend hizo hizo claws so iki bend hizo claws hivi itakuwa ime grip hiyo drill bit then you pull the rig up uone kama itatoka na hiyo bit yenye imekwama huko wakasema at this particular juncture my friends idea yote inaka ku make sense let's try it sababu mashini zimenyamaza wale wase huko chini wako frustrated wakaenda wakainua drill wakaweka hako ka claw hapo mbele na wakasukuma tena hiyo drill chini then vile walifikia hiyo drill bit waka gana some extra pressure is on close zikashika vizuri wakaanza kuinua but hawako sure kama ime grip pale mbele vile walikuwa na anticipate so wakainua 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 hiyo drill mpaka ikatoka wakapata ile claw imefungana kabisa mpaka uwezi ona ni kama kuna kitu ndani so ikabidi wachukue <coughs> sorry wachukue grinder 
wakate hiyo hiyo one of the fingers za hizo claws then vile walitoa tu hivi wakapata voila ile drill bit imeshikiliwa hapo meaning imeshatoka very nice change yo nini weka drill bit nyingine hapo na nini sukuma hiyo kitu chini katambe sasa twende kazi lakini before waanze kurudisha hizo nini ndio iende chini mkanedian alikuwa ashasikia watu wanakula ngori ameshasikia mashini mbili ziko pale zinafanya rescue mission zimesimama hazifanyi kazi huyu mkanedian alikuwa anapiga oil mining kwa boda ya Chile na Bolivia so akasikia mazee wale wa Chile wamekuwa na mashini zake alishawachana nazo huko Bolivia amezipack vizuri a uh, akajua atatafuta namna ya kuzikujia sababu yeye alikuwa na a proper oil rig like hiyo oil rig ku set up ilikuwa inachukua space ya an entire football stadium ku set up hiyo oil rig yao canadian so akajiambia since hii oil rig yangu imekwama tu pale bolivia ifanyi kitu na hawa sasa naona mashini zao ni kazi mezima si ni organize tu mazezo hiyo oil rig come waanze kuchimba shimo ya tatu tuone kama hii yetu itafika faster juu enye hiyo oil rig inachimba kuchimba hiyo kitu inaenda teke nyingine si ya kawaida so aka relay information wase wakaenda pale Bolivia malio nini yake ilikuwa waka dismantle hiyo oil rig yote wakaipack kwa trucks so so that you know how big this oil rig was it was transported in a total of 42 22 wheelers like 42 trailers zilileta hiyo rig yote like ilikuwa ni a whole convoy maze hiyo rig inaletwa ndio waanze kuchimba shimo ya tatu so the name ya hii rig automatically ikakuwa plan C so plan A iko na ngori ya hydraulics plan B ilikuwa imevunja drill bit lakini sasa wametafuta namna wameitoa so wanajipanga kurudi plan C ndio hii imekam lakini plan C iko na disclaimer for them to reassemble it again ikufike mahali inaweza fanya kazi it takes a total of 9 days mlangoja tu sijui ni mambo gani ilikuwa ina hape na hapa but kulikuwa na delay between ile claw kutolewa na plan B na au kurudi tena so kulinyamaza for like almost a week and something kumenyamaza tu So wale wasa wa plan C wakakamu wakaanza ku set up hiyo rig yao waka set up plan B wakarudi job si waliweza kutoa ile bit sasa wakarudi kuchimba tena so wamerudi kazi wakaenda wakaenda wakachimba pap wakatokea mali walikuwa wanafaa watokee but remember this is the first round ile kale kashimo kakonde so sasa wana need ku change hiyo bit hapo mbele waeke the wider one so now wakuje wakifagia sasa wakitengeneza this nini into a whole 28 inch hole wale wasa wa plan C hii mashini yao ni powerful deadly plan B wasipoka rada plan C inaweza washwa na ichimbe hiyo shimo yote mara moja eh, before plan B wamalize ku nini so ikasemekana hiyo plan C iwashwe In fact cabinet secretary alikuwa hapo kuiwasha officially na ikaanza kuchimba shimo zake za yeah, shimo yake pale na hiyo hakuna tio oh, shimo ya kwanza shimo ya pili hiyo inaenda one one take So plan B rudi hapa mazee imerudi wameshaweka hiyo bit big yenye inafaa kutengeneza whole big ikaanza kazi Plan A sababu ya zile repair za hydraulics ni nini imerudi job lakini now it's digging at a slower pace than ata ilikuwa before wase bado wako huko tu chini mazee washaanza kukuwa frustrated wanatumaga ma videos eh, once in a while mazee unaweza check tu morali yao mazee inaenda tu iki deep eh wamekuwa pale chini for far too long we are now approaching the i think the 50 wako tu pale chini mazee yani ni noma yani bit was in make sense wako tu vibaya So machine zo, zote tatu ziko kazi plan A is digging but hiyo pesa ifurahishi plan B wameshamaliza ile phase 1 sasa wanaanza tena phase 2 ndio wakuje tena wakifagia plan C ndio ina show at least signs za nini but i don't know what happens hiyo place yenye plan C walienda ku set up the rock was relatively harder than is it two other places kulikuwa kuna chimbwa 
So plan A na plan B rock zao zilikuwa hard lakini si noma as compared to where plan C ilikuwa inachimba. So hata ile teke walikuwa wanafikiria wataenda nayo kama plan C waliambia tu wasero safi manze atukujua rock yenu huku ni ngumu hii design. Eh hiyo mashini haiwezi kimbia vile tuli anticipate. So E, ndio tusiharibu mumeona vile kuharibu mashini inafanya tunakuwa na stoppages wacheni tu iende na pesi yake yenye itafika ya kwanza wacha ifike but tusiharakishe eh hey, serikali wanajishika hivi wanashindwa guy tusiharakishe na watu wameshapiga 50 something days underground rekodi ilivunjwa na watu walikuwa wamepiga 25 days sisi tumesha double hiyo maze ay ay ya very frustrating but pale chini wase wakaendelea ku encourage family members wakaanza ga kuitwa wanapatiwa a few minutes na watu wao mnaongea kidogo mnaambia na vile kuko nini mna konsoliana wanaenda one of the minus maze wife wake akajifungua so at least akakuwa kona something ya ku hang on to at least maze wacha ni stay alive at least nione mtoto wangu bana so plan b believe it or not ikangangana ikangangana wakaanza kujiambia maze najua we are risking lakini ongeza tu intensity kidogo kwa hiyo drill najua tuna risk na zaribika tena lakini if we can make it go a bit faster you just let's do it sababu vile naona sisi kama plan b ndio tuko na tuko na chances za kufikia wase mapema plan a is way too slow plan c imesetiwa hapa mali rock ni so hard haiendi na ile speed tunataka so plan b wakaanza kusukuma huko chini mazee the chileans mazee wakiboweka once in a while wanaanza tu kuimba national anthem ya chile mazee kujipatia psych kujipatia moral yani every day mazee mnamka tu na nguvu ya leo to push tu leo tu any moment your drill beat itatokea hapa juu unajua sasa juu wako chini your drill beat ikikam hapa ndio ina come sha we at some point maze as a plan b wana chimba i think kuna something ilikatika na ilikuwa enough kutoshea kwa kale ka space unajua si plan b ilikuwa isha chimba space ya kwanza so sasa ina kama ikiwa hidden so something ikakatika ikaingia kwa hiyo space ikaenda kama imeanguka ndani ya nini yani hawa so wachile wakaangalia kwa na this is a piece of equipment ime fail tulikuwa sure maze hawa ndio wanakamkutuokoa maze kitu ime ah ah wakajua ni hivyo hata wakaanza saa ku ile unajua saa ushafika ile point ya ah by the vile kunaenda wacha kuende unaweka hopes unavunjwa tu roho kumbe hiyo kitu imetokana ni kitu ina replace you very fast ah plan b wakainua drill yao fit wakangoa hiyo rig yote wakaweka rig nyingine na wakarudi down tena in no time by october tare can't remember ilikuwa october tarehe ngapi hawa say walikuwa 100 meters shy of hitting e roof ya isamo 100 meters shy wakasema maze hii mashini kama inataka kulipuka wacha ilipuke ongeza momentum kwa hiyo kitu maze ni kuchimba ni kuchimba ni kuchimba ni kuchimba and after a total of i think 65 or 67 days the 28 inch hole ikafika lazima ningepiga funda la juice he okay tuko day 67 rig imefikia minus finally finally So by this time serikali imeorganize ile capsule ile capsule wameipaka mpaka rangi ya flag ya chile maze yani there's jubilation all round so your capsule ime come eh, volunteer kwanza amejitosa pale ndani amejistrap wakamuingiza ndani fit kadhaa asikie tu ina filaje kukuwa pale nini wakamtoa akasema hii kitu iko comfortable lakini tumeweka tuweke hizo matanks za oxygen ndani na tu strap our same ship just in case mtu azime unajua unaweza zima hapo katikati wakati unainuliwa so belt muhimu wakasema twende kazi so hizi deliberations testing nini nini zilichukua a whole day so now tuko day 68 day 69 on the first hour kitu ikateremshwa mse akatolewa wa kwanza wa pili wa tatu wa nne on the 23rd hour 
the last the 33rd person akatolewa akiwa alive after kukua buried for 69 days one of the most extraordinary rescue missions ever and one of the most extraordinary stories of survival ever all 33 wako high mpaka leo even wale walikuwa na shida ma complications kidogo sababu kulikuwa na watu tayari walikuwa wamekula chumvi kidogo wame umri umri so walikuwa na shida zao kiasi za pressure nini nini hypertension but wako maze your story it make headlines the entire world man uh, some hollywood producers maze wakaingia chile waka buy rights maze ku produce hiyo movie na hiyo movie i think iko will produce you around 2017 2018 and if i'm not mistaken i think the name of the movie is 33 men if i'm not wrong ebu ni confirm yeni muniandikia hapo kwa comments ni sikue nimedanganya watu hapa um among the the inaitwa the 33 inaitwa the 33 correct hapo madia me come through so among the 33 people who are buried well, serikali ilichagua 14 people au 14 people ni wale aki walikuwa na complications hapa na pale ni wazee ni nini ni, au wakapigwa compensation design mnaweza tulia sasa si lazima mfanye kazi tena wacha serikali walipe pension yenu eh, moving forward au wengine waka bado walikuwa vijana barobaro guys in their 20s ni nini ni, au walifeel bado wako na nguvu wakasema sisi hatuna noma we hizo ma pension patieni ya wazae wazae wenye kidogo wanalemewa lemewa sisi wacha tusukume mboka So kesi kaingia kotini watu walikuwa wanataka kujoin mine kwa ni nini ili happen mbona mazema collapse nini nini ai kasemekana hiyo mine mazevile iko haiwezi operate ever so ifungwe na pesa yote hiyo mine iko nayo ilipe ilipe hiyo pesa ilikuwa inafaa ilipe ilikuwa inafaa compensate wase hapo kidogo na vitu kama hizo na ilipe madeni sababu mine yenyewe pia ilikuwa na debts Yeah, na ikafungwa eh, San Jose sahi is not operational but cha muhimu ni kwamba all the 33 people who are involved in the accident ama the incident wali make wali make it out alive they lived to tell the tale Na hapo ndio tunafungia story ya Chile kama imekubamba sana unajua vile kufanya kuja na mbogi wasikie story fiti fiti pia wafurahie kikubamba zaidi you know what to do cheza kama wewe maze au sio wadao na watambua sana nyinyi wa true god our bless hiyo mambo ya sinema tumeongea msisahau mambo ya matisheti tisheti kwa hapa kwa sana merchandise kwa wingi msisahau god our bless sana adios muchachos peace madia amesema joke mbaya sana hapa wakati napiga hizi story ameuliza kwa hao minus hata wale wazee bado tutawaita minus Msijaribu kucheka hiyo joke hiyo joke iko mbaya. Mna encourage mtu mgonjwa na hakuna haja. Is no need. Is no need. Haya. In that uh, case wacha mimi nielekee zangu. Story ya Latino imenibamba. Ndawaacha na pambio. Soy el fuego que arde tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. El castillo labrioso, la espada que guarda el caudal, tu el aire que respiro yo, y la luz de la luna en el mar, la garganta que ansio mojar, que temo ahogar de amor. Estes céus me vas a dar oh.